mostly Audemars and English rock band. The group formed in 1995 and have built their reputation through constant touring, never signing to a major label. They produce music heavily influenced by 1970s progressive rock. According to the BBC, mostly Autumn fused the music of Genesis and Pink Floyd with Celtic themes, hard rock and strong, emotional melodies. They have also been compared with other progressive bands from the same era such as Renaissance, Jethro Tull, and Camel, blended with traditional folk music. Later albums also include more contemporary influences. Mostly Autumn was formed in the mid-1990s. The original lineup included several members of One Stone Snowman, a Pink Floyd slash 1970s tribute band. The band's founding lineup consisted of band leader Brian Josh, Heidi Widop, Ian Jennings, Liam Davison, Alan Hughes, Bob Falds, Kev Gibbons, and Chris Walton. Mostly Autumn's first live shows were supported by One Stone Snowman or vice versa. One Stone Snowman's final concert was a farewell show in December 1995 and was indeed supported by Mostly Autumn. Mostly Autumn's original rhythm section of Alan Hughes and Chris Walton left the band during 1996 to concentrate on other musical projects and family commitments respectively. They were replaced by bassist Stuart Carver and drummer Alan Scott. Shortly after, Widop was replaced on vocals by Heather Findlay. This lineup recorded for all we shared. In 1998, more lineup changes ensued. By 1999, when the band recorded its second album, The Spirit of Autumn Passed, Gibbons and Scott had been replaced by Angela Goldthorpe and Rob McNeil respectively. In 2000 they achieved a support slot for Blackmore's Night on their Under a Violet Moon tour, bringing them to a wider audience. On the cover artwork for the following Blackmore's Night album Fires at Midnight, Heather Findlay provided the illustration for the song Hanging Tree. On mostly Autumn's third album, The Last Bright Light, Rob McNeil, in turn, was replaced by Jonathan Blackmore. Andy Smith replaced Stuart Carver on the bass guitar. Shortly before the band's V Shows tour in 2004, Ian's brother Andrew Jennings took over on drums and percussion. By this time, the band had been praised by Rick Wright of Pink Floyd. Olivia Sparnan joined the band in 2005 to provide additional backing vocals. Ben Matthews of Thunder stood in on keyboards for mostly Autumn's headline gig at the Baja Prague Festival in Mexico in March 2006. Chris Johnson was then recruited as a permanent replacement, with Angelo also taking a more prominent role on keyboards. At the beginning of 2007, both guitarist Liam Davison and drummer Andrew Jennings left the band, Davison to concentrate on his solo album and Jennings to devote his time to his other projects. The guitar parts were shared out amongst the rest of the group. ex karnataka drummer Gavin Griffiths stood in on drums for most of the 2007 live shows, Andrew Jennings temporarily rejoined the group at the end of 2007, until Henry Bourne took over in 2008. Gavin Griffiths returned for the first shows of 2009 in Manchester and London. After Chris Johnson and Angela Gordon left in 2007, Ian Jennings and Liam Davison returned to the group on keyboards and guitar respectively. Anne-Marie Helder took over the role of flute, keyboards and backing vocals. A new studio album entitled Glass Shadows was released in early 2008 and an accompanying tour took place in spring and early summer. A 100-minute DVD, The Making of Glass Shadows, accompanied the special pre-order version of the album. During October 2008, Mostly Autumn performed two gigs with an alternative, semi-acoustic lineup in support of the Bad Shepherds. The lineup consisted of Brian Josh, Olivia Sparnan, Andy Smith, Anne-Marie Helder and Robbie Baxter. This tour was truncated after the Bad Shepherds cancelled many dates. Mostly Autumn have their own independent record label and choose to finance each album release itself. The group typically prints a limited edition of each album and sells those to cover their recording costs. A retail version of the album is then made available via retail outlets, distributors, the group's concerts and through their website. Up to and including Heart Full of Sky, mostly Autumn's albums have started with the last few seconds of the previous album's final song. This tradition was dropped with the release of Glass Shadows. At the beginning of 2010, Heather Finley announced her intention to leave the band to focus on solo work and on her family. She performed her last gig with the band at Lemington Spa Assembly on April 2, 2010. This was filmed and released as a two-disc DVD under the name That Night in Lemington, which also included a 30-minute interview with Josh and Findlay. After her departure, Olivia Sparnan stepped into the lead role, and the band's next album Go Well Diamond Heart was released in 2010. Brian Josh and Olivia Sparnan were married on June 21, 2013. From mid-2013 onwards, Helder and Griffiths were absent from the band's touring lineup due to other commitments, 
their positions being temporarily filled by keyboardist Hannah Hurd and drummer Alex Grimardi. In March 2014, it was revealed by Brian Josh on the band's official website that Griffiths had decided to leave the band and that Cromarty was now his official replacement. With this lineup the band then recorded their 11th album, Dressed in Voices. In May 2014, shortly prior to the release of Dressed in Voices, Josh announced that founding member Liam Davison had left the band and had been replaced by returning member Chris Johnson, and this new lineup recorded the live album Box of Tears. In the autumn of 2014, Josh and Sparnan, as mostly autumn acoustic, supported Steve Hackett on the UK leg of his Genesis extended tour. In mid-2015, former mostly autumn flautist and keyboardist Angela Gordon replaced Hannah Hurd in the band's touring lineup, whilst no official statement was made at the time. The band have now acknowledged that Gordon had officially replaced Helder in the band's lineup, and with this new lineup the band recorded its next album, Sight of Day. On November 5, 2017, the band announced that founding guitarist Liam Davison had died. Founding members Brian Josh, Liam Davison, Heidi Widop, Alan Hughes, Bob Falds and Chris Walton played in the Pink Floyd 1970s tribute band One Stone Snowman. They disbanded at the end of 1995, largely due to the popularity of Mostly Autumn. Liam Davison and Alan Hughes played with the hard rock band Life Support from their founding in 1994 until leaving at the same time during 1996. Life Support split up in 1999. Heather Finley contributed to Arian Lucasen's Arian Project on the Human Equation album in 2004, singing the part of love. Ian Jennings left the band at the beginning of 2006 to pursue his own musical ambitions and formed his own band, Breathing Space, as well as contributing to projects by other artists and even becoming a music technology teacher at Huntington School. York, a local comprehensive. He recruited then mostly autumn backing vocalist Olivia Sparnan to sing lead vocals in the pair, along with various other musicians recorded three albums. Despite his return to the mostly autumn fold in 2008, Ian remained a member and core songwriter in Breathing Space. In April 2010, Sparnan took over lead vocals in mostly autumn so decided to stop working with Breathing Space. Breathing Space continued for a short while with original mostly autumn vocalist Heidi Whitup, before splitting up. During 2005 Heather Findlay and Angela Gordon formed an acoustic side project called Ode in Dragonfly, making live appearances both as a support act and as headliners. In August 2007 they released their first album, Offerings. Both Anne-Marie Helder and Gavin Griffiths are members of Panic Room, and were previously members of Karnataka. Following a one-off project in 2019 involving Ian Jennings and York rock band Godson, Ian became a full member of Godson in August 2020. They subsequently changed their name to The Tower Radio and are working on their eponymous first album. This has been delayed by COVID-19 restrictions and is now planned for release in 2022. Thanks for watching.